I really looked forward to playing with my new dashboard palettes for our video of the day. So I decided to make a very quick and easy special effects makeup, which is this gunshot wound, and color my face with the dashboard autopsy palette, which I really wanted to try and show you on a YouTube video. So here is the end result of what I have created. If you are interested in how I did this, Please keep watching because I will explain it step by step in the coming video. And if you don't want to miss any of the videos we are going to upload during this holiday season with Christmas and New Year's, don't forget to subscribe because we have a lot of fun, festive videos planned for you this month. I just scooped a bit of the Synwax out of the jar it comes in and massage it between my fingers until you feel it becomes warm and flexible and at that point you are ready to put it on your skin. I like to glue my Synwax to my skin with Prosade to keep it on your face longer and better. So I'm first going to apply some Prosade and then just apply the Synwax over that. I got quite a lot for just a gunshot wound. I will make it a big gunshot wound. Now with some petroleum jelly and my spatula I'm going to smooth out the edges so the edge of the Synwax will disappear on my skin. I like to give the wax a skin-like texture to camouflage it on the skin even better. And I'm using a stipple sponge to do this. Don't forget to put it in petroleum jelly as well. And just gently dab it onto the sin wax. Now we are going to make the entry wound of the bullet. And I'm going to use my spatula for this. I'm just going to remove a lot of sin wax. So I'm just going to take it out instead of move it uh, on the skin. And there is the entry wound. It's quite big, as I said before I started. Um, but to show you the basics of a bullet wound, I think it could be fun to get a real big bullet hole on your face. The next thing I'm going to do is set the wax with color set powder by Meron. It takes away the petroleum jelly I just put on and it makes it easier to paint in a bit. Be gentle doing this, it's only wax, so you could definitely ruin what you did when you press it on too hard. When you powder you will immediately see how well you did on blending away the edges, because if there is a height difference between your skin and the wax it will immediately show, so powdering it is a good a way to check if all the edges are gone. And then it's time to go and play around a bit with the dashboard palette. I couldn't resist and opened the autopsy palette. I like the name and I like the colors that are in this palette. And I thought if I would have been shot through my head, I would probably have died of this. And the autopsy palette gives me the colors that my skin would actually have once I have been deceased. I'm gonna start out with the color Dead Flesh and I'm just gonna use it as a base color. As you can see it's easy enough to give yourself a dead flesh color with this uh, dashboard palette. Beware that you need to put enough alcohol in there because otherwise it is uh, gonna cover your skin immediately. So it's very pigmented and you need to find the right alcohol to paint ratio to uh, work with this. I am continuing to the color Horrible. It's a very beautiful, ugly color to get a bit of shading in.
if you have been wondering about the sponge I've been using, it's not the uh, foam sponge I usually have by Meron. It is a very textured yellow sponge. It comes from this very big one. I just tore off a few bits. These are new and um, I got them as face painting sponges and I thought, well, they are huge and what the hell are you going to do with them? But as they are very textured, and you can just rip them apart. They give these nice textures you could use with alcohol activated makeup. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying these and they are definitely um, worth working with. I'm gonna move on to this purple color. I'm just gonna use a few to see what happens when I use them. And that is exactly what I meant when I said very pigmented. So I just dabbed it in the palette twice and I'm already transferring amazing amounts of color to my skin. That's not a bad thing, of course. I kind of feel like testing all the colors in this palette. I won't because it would be definitely too much, but I would like to. I have a very small brush and I'm wondering what a bit of veining would do with the dashboard palettes. Nice color for veining as well. I could play around with this palette for ages, uh, but basically, well, that is done. Now I'm going to color the wound with the black in the autopsy palette mixed with red. As I'm going to put some blood in the wound, it just needs the basic coloring and the rest I will do with blood. I am going to use two bloods today. The first one is the blood gel number two by Makeup. This is a jelly-like fake blood that will stay in the wound. And the second blood is of course a blood that will come out of the wound. And I'm working with Vermilion FX Thick Clotting Blood Crimson today. After Halloween season it became one of my favorite bloods. Um, I've got a few more of course, but this is one of them. And I think it will be perfect for our gunshot wound. I'm trying to maneuver the blood away from my nose. Otherwise it's just a straight line to your nose and that looks kind of funny. So I'm going to add another drop of blood. And the last thing is to get a bit of blood on a sponge. So you will be able to stipple it onto the skin around the wound. Not too much, but would have definitely left some traces of a blood splatter, I guess, if you would be shot in the head. Yes, and that is our quick and easy gunshot wound with Meron Sinwax. As you can see, the gunshot wound only takes a few minutes to make. The rest of the time went into the dashboard autopsy palette. Uh, well, I hope you liked the video, of course. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And uh, from this Thursday, we are going to start our holiday season YouTube videos. So there will be a lot of Christmas and New Year's themed videos to come this month. If you don't want to miss any, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Well, for now, I wish you a pleasant day. And of course, I hope to see you on Thursday when we will upload a new video to this YouTube channel. Bye.